Good morning, everyone. It's Christmas Eve and I'm prepping my meatballs. Um, I'm making my regular meatball mix for my nice uh, ragu that I'm going to start later today. But here, what I wanted to show you was our meat mix. I'm using a nice uh, beef, pork, and veal mixture, and I have about two pounds here. So I'm gonna open this up. And I'm gonna put all of this in my mixing bowl. Okay, excellent. Right, so you can see it's all here. The next thing I'm going to add is my garlic that I chopped up pretty fine, my onion, and my parsley. So this is gonna go right in. So you can really do it in any order that you want, but this is the order I'm using today. So I'm gonna start mixing this together. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do is add some nice Romano cheese. So I'm just gonna put a good quarter cup in, flavor it up nice. Maybe half a cup of cheese, love it. The next thing I'm going to add are my breadcrumbs. So I just have garlic and herb. You can use um, day old bread. You can use anything you want. I'm just gonna use my nice breadcrumbs. I'm gonna use this arm to start mixing this all together. Oh, this looks good already. Oh, it smells really good already. can also add a little. Next thing I'm going to add a little salt and pepper. And I'm gonna add a little bit of milk. I'm gonna eyeball it. I'm not putting that much in, just to soften this up. And get those breadcrumbs in there. Now I kind of like my meatballs to be moist. Next thing I'm going to add is one egg. And mix that in. Some people do two eggs. I usually find that one egg is enough because I add some of the liquid. Add a little more milk now. So, see, I'm mixing it up good because I want all those ingredients to get mixed in. Add a little bit more milk, just a touch more. And then I'm gonna add my secret ingredient. This is not Italian. That's a trick that my husband taught me from his house. I'm gonna add a tablespoon of ketchup. Got some nice garlic, got some nice onion. Okay. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just shaping up my little meatballs. 
And I'm gonna put them on the fridge. As you can see, they're nice and moist. Like I said, I kind of like them on the moist end, but they'll firm up a little bit in the fridge. And then later this afternoon, I'm gonna start my sauce. And these are gonna go right into the sauce along with my sausage. I also added a little salt and pepper to this mix. And they're good to go. Okay. See, just a little roll of the hand. I tried to make them around the same size, but some always come out a little bit bigger. I can't help it. <laughs> but the mix has a little onion, a little garlic, a little parsley, a little Romano cheese, milk, breadcrumbs. on the medium heat. So, I'm going to kind of cooking up now. Let it cook for about a minute or two. So, and then I'm going to add Scafani crushed tomatoes and one can of tomato paste and then I'm going to add a few basil leaves and once it comes to a boil I'm going to add my meatballs and my sausage and then I'm going to simmer and we'll let it cook all together for a couple hours on a low simmer. I'm not going to brown my meatballs and I'm not going to brown my sausage because this is a a uh, nice slow cooking sauce and I'm going to let all those flavors come out um, in the sauce. If I wanted to cook it up a bit faster, I either bake the meatballs and cook up the sausage and then just put it in. Um, or you can always brown. Sometimes I do brown it. Um, but for today, I'm just going to let everything cook up in the sauce. I added my... Hi! So I added my three cans of crushed tomato and then I got a little water to kind of get the rest of the tomato out. So I got water in each of these cans to get the rest of the tomato out. And then the last thing I'm gonna add is my tomato paste. Just a little bottle of it. Okay, so I've got my sauce. It's on a medium heat. I've added a little water to it. I've added some basil leaves. Once it comes to a boil, I'm gonna add my um, sausage and my meatballs, and then I'm gonna put it on a little simmer. So we're almost there. Okay, now that the sauce is bubbling, it's nice and hot. I'm gonna put it on a simmer. A low flame. I'm gonna add my sausage and my meatballs from earlier. And it's all gonna cook for at least two hours. Um, at least two hours, maybe two and a half hours. Okay, it's all in. They're inside the sauce. It's on the simmer. Every 10 minutes or so, I'm gonna give it a quick stir. 15 minutes, 10 minutes just so uh, anything, any um, onion that's still on the bottom, you know, it won't burn. So I wanna make sure I get the bottom pieces, but nothing's gonna burn, this is great. <laughs> Looks good. Two hours, two hours and a half from now, we're gonna have a delicious meat sauce. Can't wait.